Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law. Divorce is one of those main issues. And a lot of times we're asked the question, can I date during these proceedings? Um, and it's, it's really an interesting question because what the person is really saying who asked that to the lawyer, what you're really asking me is, look, this case is going to take six months, a year, a year and a half. Am I obligated to refrain from any social activity during all that time, knowing full well that this is no longer a person that I'm going to have a relationship with, this spouse who will soon be my soon-to-be ex-spouse. So the question is, should you date? If you're looking for to your lawyer for dispensation, the lawyer is going to tell you that there's no crime against it. Uh, you're certainly permitted to date during the divorce proceedings. However, you should not expose your children to a new person. You should not um, be in, in the face of the other person in that way because if you do that, you will cause uh, a certain inflammation of the proceedings and there may be a situation where somebody reacts because they're jealous because one person is moving on and all that. So really it's something that while you could do it, you got to be very, very careful about it. Um, the reason why, you, and you can say, well, what do I care what my husband thinks? You know, he's going to be my ex soon. What do I care about that, that woman? She's going to be gone out of my life soon. Well, here's why you care. You're ultimately relying on your lawyer and the court to work out a fair settlement. The fair settlement involves a proper and equitable distribution of the assets, the liabilities. In the case of children, it may re require a tweaking of a parenting time schedule. There may be child support issues. You know, there are things to negotiate. Alimony could be an issue. So you have to remember, the person that you're maybe alienating by throwing up your new social life into their face is the very same person who you're going to negotiate with later on in order to try and get a fair resolution, uh, a, a, one, a resolution that makes sense for you. So in light of that, you need to keep that in mind in the context of whether you should date or how you should date, okay? So um, if you're extremely discreet about it and it's casual dating, the court's not going to fault you for going to the movies with someone. That's not going to be the issue. But if it comes up and it, it has something to do with whether or not the children are exposed to this or, uh, or later on even if the children aren't uh, exposed but it impedes your ability to negotiate and it ruins your bargaining position because now you got somebody who's mad at you and, and therefore they're no longer agreeing to what they would have agreed to. You've really sort of cut off your nose despite your social face, haven't you? So that, that's not a good thing to do. Um, I, I would say if you're in that situation, that discretion is, is, is certainly uh, advised. Now, if you've got no assets and no liabilities and there's no children and you're just sort of waiting out the time, obviously, that's a different story. If you have any questions about this, reach out and we'll be glad to help you out.